Ariel Hawani on Long Island in New York alongside Patrick Cummins who meets John Vellante this Saturday at UFC on Fox 25. Pat, it's good to see you and the stash. This is actually the first time I think that we've done an interview since you started growing the stash. Uh, yeah, and so it's great to see it in person. Can you tell me what's the inspiration you behind it? it? I would love to, can yeah. I? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh my lord. Just I mean, describe this is it something. As you're so it's like soft yet thick. Did you put anything in that? I put a little a little wax in it, but okay. just like I like the all natural look. You okay. know, I don't want like How often do you trim it? Very rarely. A Why gra did grappling trims it for me? That's Oh, yeah. that's gross. Yeah. Why did you grow it? <laughs> I just um my dad's always been a mustache man okay. like all my life, and I always thought it was such a such an odd thing, but um now I'm, I'm you know, later in my life I'm starting to realize that this is, it's a source of power. Do you ever get tired of it? You're like, ah, I need to get rid of this. It's annoying. It's getting in my food. Nah, I've come, I've come to, I've come to love it. Okay. You know, like always quinoa in my, in my mustache, yeah. you know, any kind of like almond butter. Sure. Like if I eat like toast with almond butter, uh, it's so like, good. it rake, you know, it like oh rakes off the almond butter, but it's, yeah, just save save a little for later. It's fine with me. I'm just curious, uh, not to get too personal, but do you have a significant other, and if so, what do they think about it? You know, I do not. Actually. I can't imagine kissing that. I yeah. <laughs> I I think that might be the reason why I don't. <laughs> That's true. But I mean, what a mess. Yeah. But I love it, by the way. I just want right. to make that clear. Well, it it's for the guys, really. Okay. You know, yeah. guys like it. Guys are like yeah, sweet mustache. That's but right. no girl wants to go near. Do you this. feel like girls are less interested in you since you started growing it? Yeah, overall, yes, okay, but yeah. then like the, you know, the really freaky ones, they come out of the woodwork, so. We also like them too. Yeah, yeah. why not? All right. All right. <laughs> um, well, let's actually talk about, you know, your career in the fighting yeah. here. Uh, you are fighting on Saturday against John Vellante. I feel like they've been trying to make this fight for like two years now. Why do they like uh, this matchup so much, and do you like it? I do, I do. I really like this matchup. Um, I, don't, I don't know why they've, they've been wanting to push this, but... I don't know if, if people know. We were scheduled to fight in Albany. Um, yes. Yeah. So and I got a staff. You had a staff. Yeah. So now you know I kind of was like, man, that stinks. Like we were, we we both went through a camp and you know we're ready to fight. And it was like what a week and a half before the before the fight happened. So um, you yeah, know we're ready for each other. And I'm like I know John. We're 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 buddies. Yeah. And like that's I'd say like four or five fights ago that would be an awkward situation, but. Now it's just kind of it's the way the way the job is. So this will be technically your second time fighting in the state of New York, correct? Yes. Yeah. How do you like it? Because they've gone kind of a, a mixed well, review there, from the fighters. There's there have been problems, you yeah. know, obviously with with some of the things, some of the way that they, they've been doing things. But personally, I haven't. It hasn't affected me at all. Okay. So the the only like their their medicals requirements are a little crazy. But I mean that's just. A doctor's visit, an extra doctor's visit or two, so it's not a big deal. How are you doing financially these days? And the only reason I ask you is because you made some headlines not that long ago. Everyone thinks I have a Tesla now. Well, is that what you're saying? By the way, that's a great car. I wish I had yeah. a Tesla. I wish I had one. No, that's my my buddy um, at Hames Hames Motors down in Florida. Because I do, I'm still living in California. Okay. And I do all my training in Florida. So when I come down, I need to rent a car. He owns a. Uh, two actually, um, what do you call it? Like uh, dealerships. Dealerships, yeah. yeah. So um, he's he's always, he's good enough to lend me a car and uh, you know just kind of make make things easier on my you know I don't have to pay rent in two places sure. basically. So he's um, he's been a, he's been a really big help. So that yeah that's kind of where that came from. But obviously the. The, you, uh, there was some talk that you were homeless and things like that. Oh, Remember that? Yeah. No, yeah. The tweet, I Dana White. That. I was homeless for a yeah. while. <laughs> Legit? Like sleeping on the street? Not on the street, okay. but like I was like, hey, can I come stay with you wow. for a while? And how are you now? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You I, had a place? A, I had a fight recently, right. so I feel okay. But yeah, no, I, I, I was coming off two losses. I had to get, you know, I, I, I was a year in between fights. And that's that's my income, you know what I mean. So it was hard, and I would, you know, when you lose, you make half the money you, sure. you want, and so, um, yeah, I was hurting. So, but I needed to get I needed to get my personal life together, you know. I needed I I got a hold of new management, did a whole new training camp, hooked up with Neil Melanson, who's been the man for me. He's he's um, he reached out in the past and was like, hey man, I really think I could help you out. 
And at the time, you know, my training situation was great, so I didn't think anything of it. And um, but then, you know, a couple months later, I was like, "Hey, man, is that offer still good? Can I come train with you?" Okay. So he's really, I mean, he's really taken me under his wing, and like he's helped out a lot. He's been, you know, he's like been a big brother to me, as as well as you know somebody that's given me crazy techniques and you know, making making me feel like, man, I can't believe I didn't know all these things. What, I've, I had so many fights before this. How did I not know this? So Have you cleared the air with Dana White? Because it was that time where he was like running down your finances and what you made I, and all yeah, that. Yeah, no, we had we got in a little battle yeah. there, but it was like it was an indirect battle, and I think it just kind of got out of hand. And um, but yeah, no, I ended up giving him a call, and it's like, hey man, we need to we need to clear the air. This is this is crazy. Um, and we, you know, we both kind of explained ourselves, and then we were like, all right, I think we're cool. Okay. So yeah, we're we're fine. All we're right. we're good that way. He's my boss. That's right. You know? Sort of. Well, he's your promoter, to be yeah, exact. True, but true, true. And so you got back on track against Jan Blachowicz in, um, in Buffalo. And do you feel like finally now, like everything's kind of coming together, that you'll go on the run that you were expecting to a couple of years ago? Does it feel that way inside for you? Yeah, it definitely does. I just feel like I'm, I'm getting back into that place where I'm, I'm taking steps up the ladder and I'm, I'm ready to make my run. And um, I think it's just coincidental that my rebirth has happened with the mustache. Power so, of the stash. The power of the stash, is, it's got to live on. How are the pancakes? Are you still into the pancakes or have you cut back oh, on them? I love the pancakes. I mean, I, I haven't had pancakes this week, but That's right. it's nice to look forward to it on Sunday. Like Long yeah. Island's a big IHOP kind of place. Are you an IHOP guy or, or is that kind of like a Starbucks if you're a coffee guy? Exactly, okay. exactly. I want the I want the underground pancakes. Right. Mom know? and pop. Yeah, All yeah. Right. Best pancake? I'll that you've had? Any suggestions? Is there like a number one? Go. I had a chickpea pancake recently. Really? Yeah. I, you know, I have, I have a couple, uh, a couple good recipes. I actually like to make my own. Okay. But as far like, I really like buckwheat pancakes if I can find them on a menu or um, quinoa. I really like quinoa in a pancake. I know I already mentioned quinoa yeah, once. Second time. So, but no, I, I love it. It's great. All right. Protein packed. Sure. Yeah. Well, it has been great to catch up. Good to see you. Good yeah. to see the stash. It's almost mesmerizing. Like, I can't look at you in the eyes. I've been staring no, at the would, stash the entire yeah. time. I would suggest just... Between uh, the missing tooth and the stash, it's like a double whammy. Has anyone ever asked you to, to like, said, oh, maybe you should get, a, like, a fake one, or you're not ever going to do that? I just, I mean, I don't... Cormier does that. You know that. What's that? He has a missing tooth, and he puts, like, a mouth guard with a fake tooth. Oh, really? Yeah. I used to, like, I've had this since 2004. Oh, wow. I lost it at the Olympic trials in 2004. When you made him cry? No, oh, okay. different. That was a little later. All right. Let's um, not rehash that. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> um, no, but it's been, so that was, I mean, it's been over 10 years. Okay. You know what I mean? So I've been, I've had, I wore the, the flipper, which is like a retainer with a tooth yeah, yeah, on yeah. it forever. And I just, I'm over it. All this right. is, this cause, is you. Yeah, like when you meet somebody, you're like, hey, cool, like, nice to meet you. And then they're like, hey. What happened to your tooth? What? Okay. I'm like, nah, it's been like this. Like, sorry, you met the fake me. Sure, sure. So this is the real me. All I'm right. ready to, I'm ready to unleash it. Good luck Saturday. I'm looking forward to this. Many months, if not a year, in the making. This matchup yeah. between you and yeah. John Volante, and it's great to catch up. Yeah. Good to see you again. Always good to see you. Ariel. Thank you.